Good afternoon everyone, I'm Gary Martin and today you join with me at Tangsley Park Golf Club with Sam. Absolutely, was, hi guys, we okay? Sam's one at Pros here and after the first episode of Pro Shop Clearance went so well, I thought why not get out road and you know, starting with you Sam because I know how much second hand gear you sell online. Yeah, we can, we can clear a little bit can't we? Sam, Sam shifts second hand gear, you're yeah, uh, very knows. well known aren't you? <laughs> so he's got some treats for us today actually, he's got some really saucy stuff yeah. um, and what do you want to start with? We can go anywhere, we can go, should we go up the top end of something that could be good for your bag? Should we go with a My bag. Thing 3 iron? Well I ain't brought any money with me though, that's the problem. Do you mean this one? We do finance. <laughs> well, this one is a Ping I210 isn't it, 3 iron? 210 3 iron, yeah. Extra stiff, who would you say that would suit? For that for me it'd be someone as a low handicapper. So if you're looking at going into maybe Lynx golf or you wanted something that's gonna keep a lower trajectory. Yeah. Basically you lower handicap golf for looking to play tournament golf somewhere where they need to keep it low when it's windy. It could be that low handicap that likes to use maybe a blade or a muscle back in the yeah, shorter absolutely. irons and just wants a little bit of a cavity in the long irons. And I imagine that looking at that, it inspires quite a bit of confidence, doesn't it? Absolutely, it's your little fairway finder. What are you wanting for that one then? I think we could get down to at least 110 for it. 110? Yeah. Would that be delivered? Yeah, that would be next day delivered with the HL, all oh. tracked, all insured. That sounds pretty good. And that extra stiff shaft, there's going to be someone who's pretty strong, isn't it? Yeah. Man of your stature, guys, would do. So I would fine. say a low handicap yeah. golf yeah, or yeah, somebody aggressive and, you know, want something to tee off with off the tee. It's a nice little club. So then we could go with a ping five wood. Ping five wood. G410 in the corner. These are becoming a bit like rocking horse, aren't they? Yeah, you can't really get hold of the ping stuff second hand anymore, obviously. With the, I think there's a power shortage in Bangladesh at the minute, isn't there? So yeah. You can't actually get the stuff produced. There'll be a lot of this, will be winding a lot of people up. You know, yeah, these are no, pl as ping orders. Um, but we've got a G410. It's a five wood and a stiff shaft, so it's not particularly a common no. spec, is it? It's something that pe quite a few people are wanting, though, as well. Yeah, five wood stiff. I mean, condition wise, there's no sort of marks on the top line. Like always on ping, you know, the black gonna, finish, yeah. you yeah, get a few marks get a on the bit face. Of sand and stuff off balls. So, but not bad. Alta CB stiff shaft, five wood, and what do you reckon? I think if someone really wanted that, they could have it for 125. 125. Yeah, delivered. So that's the G410 five wood stiff shaft. Again, aimed at probably, you could say that that head is actually probably aimed at all levels of golf, isn't it? All levels of golf, yeah. I mean, the shaft's fairly forgiving as well. Um, I think it's 65 grams in the fairway. Yeah. So it's good for, you know, any range of swing speed in the stiff bracket. So, so it's quite forgiving for all standards of golf. That is one thing with Ping, you know, a lot of their gear, especially at Woods, is aimed at a broad handicap of golfer, isn't it's it? To help people out, you're not going to look down on it when you've got, say, 200 into a par four on some of your hardest holes at your local golf course. You're going to have the confidence to go for the green and try and pick up your net birdies. Yeah. That's good. Guys, if you're wondering why I'm dressed up like this, I've just played nine holes with Foxy and James up at Woolley, and I'm absolutely frozen. <laughs> I'm still frozen. Um, played all right, shot level. Foxy shot nine over for nine holes, and James pretty much injured. Bad knees, bad... James injured? Ja struggling, really struggling. So I don't know how much you'll see of James playing over these next few weeks. But uh, anyway... So, oh, we could go to a Titleist driver if you like. Titleist driver? TSI 2 in stock. Everybody loves buying a driver, don't they? Absolutely, and these have been really good this year selling for us. I'll tell you what, Sold this, this is tasty. I'm using this head at the minute, the TSI 2 9 degree. But that, that, is that shafts included? Yep, the shafts included in our deal, but it, it is an upcharged shaft. You can't is, get that from Titleist as is, that's just something we do here at Tankersley. This is naughty. What, what, tell me about that then. Why has it got that band at top? So, obviously Hazardous do use standard shafts that come in golf clubs as stock and then they do what's called a small batch range. Your small batch range will be handcrafted, hand painted and more care taken into the shaft. The weights yeah. will be accurate. It's more built for the, uh, to the specification, so to say. That looks absolutely awesome. And what would that shaft cost alone? So the shafts alone retail in the US at just short of £300. Wow. You can pick them up on eBay, but I would stress this, guys, is really, really be careful who you buy off online. There's a lot of these shafts going around as fakes. Yeah. So you've got to know what you're looking for. So this is a how does a smoke? It's a it's a stiff, isn't it? 6.0, yeah, so 6 60 gram shaft. 
but uh, as you said it's the small batch so obviously yeah so that's your upgraded shaft here. upgraded shaft with a nine degree tsi2 head and i'll tell you what this head is very forgiving it's really helped me get it's my fantastic. confidence back it's fantastic i know adam scott's just switched back from the tsi4 to the tsi2 has he really a stiffer shaft wow here. and that shows you with obviously the head shape how much confidence it does give you so bear in mind this is a three hundred pound upgrade shaft, guys. The head alone would probably cost you about four hundred. Yeah. You're, you're looking at about a seven hundred pound yeah, club, absolutely. aren't you? And what would you be sort of looking for with this? Um, I'd let someone take that for three hundred and seventy-five pounds. I'll tell you what, that is an absolute bargain with this shaft in. It's a very good deal. There'll be a lot of people out there thinking that's expensive. If you're after a good top-end shaft, um, you know that one is an absolute beauty. Do they call it the Hulk? Yes, that's that's the Hulk. They do a Hulk in a PVD finish, which yeah. is like your oil can, and that's for your player that doesn't want to see obviously the graphics going down the shaft. That's an absolute beauty. If that were a six point five, I'd be, be I'd there. be really tempted in that one. We could go. I'd be going I've back to get my wallet. <laughs> the same player traded in a TSI two fairway wood as well. Oh, interesting. Slightly different shaft. This is exactly the same head as mine. As again, it's a sixteen and a half degree. Sixteen point five degrees been great this year. We find a lot of players that struggle to get a three wood airborne. Yeah. So this sits in like the forward bracket that people really find that they get the right trajectory. It'll spin a little bit more for you hitting the greens on par fives. It's just an all round good looking club. It's that little bit more inviting off the floor. And this one comes with a tensai, the white. The tensai AV series, yes, the white. So this is the lowest this launching. This is the lowest spinning, yeah, lower launching shaft. In, in a 75 stiff. So this again, pretty strong player. Um, oh yeah. Low yeah. launching, low spinning. So you're actually using the head to get the forgiveness, aren't you, in the launch. The forgiveness. And the shaft to control to the keep flight. The spin down, yeah. So that one, I'll put some close ups of this one in, guys. This is a TSI 2. With the uh, the tensai white shaft, which I, I believe Tiger were using that at some stage. Tiger was using the AV white, yeah, just after Diamana announced about eighteen months ago now that they were yeah. going to stop doing the original whiteboards. So that's kind of like the closest thing to what the original Diamana whiteboard was. Yeah, and that's something I used to use. So absolutely, everyone have to used give this to use one it. a little little whirl. <laughs> Might have been a disaster coming to this shop, <laughs> especially when you see what's coming up. Yeah, we've got a couple of tasty treats. I weren't expecting this one going on sale. We're actually, I'm going to slip one in here, so this would be great for your senior golfer guys. Senior golfers, get in the comments guys, is there any senior golfers watching this channel? Um, you know, I've got a senior shafted, it's a six hybrid, so you know, anybody who struggles with seven iron and above, you know, don't be embarrassed to get these hybrids. We have quite a few members here this year that were playing, you know, four, five, six irons last year, struggling to get them off the floor, never really seen the progression. And as soon as they give them a hybrid in, you know, five, six, seven of loft, it just gives so much more forgiveness. It's the same with, you know, up in the loft on a three wood. It gives you that little bit more forgiveness, more show of loft. You can just feel like you're you can the see the loft on that from there. I will put some close ups in. But uh, soft shaft. The, these tailor made heads as well, the M6s, you know, and, and they were a great golf club. They're great, they're aren't really they? Forgiving. M6s, M4s, anything like that, you know. Absolutely fantastic and easy to use. Again, all levels of golfer, but we're nice soft shaft. What, what are you wanting for that one? Uh, something like that. You'd be £89 posted. Posted. Yeah. And how would you take payments then? So, payments, I'll take them generally down the PDQ machine. Yeah. Um, into the shop direct because people know who I am and I've built the reputation off that. Yeah. But obviously, you see quite a few people now with PayPal. Yeah. Um, I know eBay's recently switched away from PayPal now, so they actually do it in house themselves. Yeah. So when you pay for something through eBay, that goes on hold with them. Yeah. So I wouldn't be particularly sure how you'd be to be securing your money with something like that. But if you're buying off Facebook now, I'd definitely pay with your friends and family if you don't know that they are a reputable golf shop or a reputable retailer. Yeah. And I think for you guys following, my channel you know if you follow my channel all year you know i'm obviously a reptile you know person and and i wouldn't refer anybody apart from a friend or somebody that i know and you know sam is somebody that does sell a lot online so you know you don't have to worry about buying from sam um what else have we got oh, i think one that we've sold quite a lot of this year that'd be worth mentioning to you would be one of the scotty cameron phantoms phantoms yeah these have been a great little seller for our ambidextrous fans. I'm a big Scotty Cameron fan, as you guys know. Um, not actually tried one of these before. Well, you'll have seen Dalton on the channel, I would assume, by now. Yeah. And Dalton was using one of these for a while. This is a left-handed Phantom. What do these retail at? So the retail on the Phantom is 349 at the moment. This is a Phantom X 5.5. 
and it's a left-handed. What is it? A 34 inch. It's 34 inch. Yeah. Brand new with wrapper on it. It's absolutely brand new. Perfect. And is this at any reduced price? Um, so what we're actually doing at the minute um, for one of our warm Christmas warmers is we're doing a free dozen Pro V ones with any Scotty Cameron putter purchased. All right. Well, that's not bad, is it, guys? Because you know you don't get any discount on Scotty no, Camerons. So you know, 40 pounds for bowls. It's not a bad deal, is it? And that'll be posted. And that'll be posted. Free postage as well. Very awesome. good. And I think we've got one last one. And this could be sending you home with no car, Gary. <laughs> really? I think we've seen this previous, haven't we? Oh, wow. So this is a TE3, Terillium, sorry, Terillium. And it's the Fastback 1.5. It's She's here. Wow. I mean, this is a rare piece. There'll be a lot of subscribers who are watching this channel, Sam. That might uh, might fancy a bit of this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I've got a couple of Scotty Cameron grips that we could put on it for you if you don't fancy the two thumb. Yeah, it's got the two thumb on it. Is that because you were gaming it? Yeah, yeah, I gamed this putter last year. Um, just something I liked. I mean, the head is in good condition. You know, no sort of marks that you would be unhappy with. Just normal use marks. No sort of bag clatter or anything. Original head cover. T22. I mean, these are what are these fetching online now? They're over a grand, aren't they? Yeah, so these were the second release of the Trillium. I think they were released back in the 2019. Um, if you can pick up a brand new one now, you're looking in the region of 1,700 to 2,000 pounds. Really? Yeah. Um, second hand, you can pick up. You can pick up a bad condition for maybe 650 upwards. Yeah. But obviously that shape was very, very rare. I know quite a few people that have kept that in a showcase for the shape of it. So it's the Fastback 1.5 T22. It's the same shape that uh, Cameron Smith uses on tour. And what, uh, have you thought about how much you'd like for it? I mean, you could maybe go on an auction yeah, if it's your putter. Auction. Yeah, I could do an auction. What yeah. would you start the, the bidding off at? Um, do you know what? I'd start at 500. 500? Um, as long as a happy golfer got it. And they took good care of her. Wow. I would start an auction at 500. So, guys, get in the comments if you want to make an offer on this put, but don't comment unless you genuinely want to buy it. Absolutely. Because, you know, obviously, we don't want bidding, you know, bidding, people bidding up if you're not actually going to buy. So, no, we want genuine buyers. Enjoy the um, like, get in the comments, and, you know, if Sam sees an offer there that, you know, you want to jump Absolutely. at, you know, just end the auction. If, yeah. you, if there's an offer there you want, and the auction. So get in the comments, guys. If you're interested in this T22, that is an absolute steal. I mean, to be fair, mate, I might put a bid in on that myself. I think I'll start the bidding off at 500. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've enjoyed that. You've got some great stuff in stock, and this definitely won't be the last time we we see Sam yeah. on the channel. Um, We've got a few exciting bits coming. We've up, got some we? stuff planned, and also, you know. Get back in here a little bit more. It's a lovely shop they've got down here at Tankersley. Yeah. Um, it almost feels like a little bit of a. And a, a little bit of a, a golf cave, doesn't it, when you come in here? Yeah, there's always something that you're going to find. I mean, you, you only look at the motorcade trolleys. We've got everything here. Yeah. You tell me another shop that can get everything at the minute. Yeah, it's a good point. So, you know, if you're passing Junction 35. We are just 35A. Uh, M1. And uh, pop in and see Sam, I'm sure I'll make you a coffee. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, mate. No I've problem. enjoyed that. Thank and, you uh, very much. We'll get some close-ups of them in, the, in, in, in. We'll pop Sam's details in there as well. And if there's anything you've seen there that you like, guys, um, you know, speak to Sam. Absolutely. Cheers, bud. No problem. All Take right. care, guys. We'll see you guys in a few days' time. Thanks a lot. Bye.